this week's tarot. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I want to jump on and do a quick uh, reading for this week. Kind of last week, it's kind of been kind of progression and it's basically just where you are in the moment that the reading is going to make sense. And of course, you can always make change. And every time you make change, a different choice, you change the reading. So it's really based just based on the present moment and the outcome of what's going to be present. And so I've asked, you know, for the cards to um, share uh, like a general reading of what we need to know for this week, right? And so you would just apply it because it's universal reading on a general perspective, but you would apply it to your situation, whatever that is, um, whether it's going to be, you know, a new job, a career, a relationship, where you're moving, what you're manifesting, whatever it is, you know, as far as that goes. So you just apply it to that, right? And so because everybody's at a different place in their journey, right? And so from that point, it'll make sense for you, okay? So... With that, I also want to show you something that I love and a lot of other people who have purchased it love because from my background, um, and I have a cool little story, you know, about the tarot deck. So I was playing around with the tarot deck um, and learning a couple basic courses in the tarot and it was more book learning and it was like an hour or two course which really don't get a whole lot of time in doing it so what i ended up doing was just sitting down and intuitively working with the cards and myself just sitting with them each card one by one tuning into them and meditating with them and seeing you know what i got from it right on an intuitive level and that worked more better for me and so, I mean, there's different ways that you can learn a tarot. You can, you know, go to classes, courses, you know, and so, or you can do it intuitively. But that was my way of learning them. And so one of the little stories, which was cool, is having, you know, worked with the tarot, putting them down for a while, because of course life, you know, takes hold and you kind of go off uh, into to life in, um so I didn't work with the tarot for a little bit. And the next thing I know, probably a couple, I'd say a couple of months later, uh, you know, between that sleeping state where between one and three, which are very intuitive, um, possibly out of body experiences, things like that, and a lot of information downloads and communications uh, from the other side uh, happen because we're in that deep sleep and state of realm, right? And so, you know, um, and I used to get a lot of information. I still do. I get a lot of information, wake up with a lot of stuff, and that's why I do what I do. But um, from there, you know, it had come in that, you know, the tarot was, like, actually calling me, right? And it was like, you know, it, it you, you're going to want to use this or, you know, you don't, right? And so at that point, it was almost, it was really weird because it was, like, almost this, point where it was like if you don't use the cards now then you know you're, you're kind of being um blocked off from them uh, it was just a really weird experience so the next morning i got up and i went over to the tarot deck cards right and i had found them they were all stuck shut together like it was like they were closed again they were all glued right and so i had to like peel them apart like that but they were all like stuck together again. And they were just sitting on my bookshelf with all my spiritual stuff. Um, but it was really interesting that that had happened, but that's a cool little story with that. So, and since, um, you know, coming back to the tarot, uh, you know, working and utilizing them, you know, I haven't had that situation again. So it was kind of like, the tarot was like, you know, either you're gonna use me or you're not, <laughs> you know, and so, um, just wanted to kind of share that little cute story. But, and so um, with that, because I learned more intuitively and it resonated more with me because yes, you can learn book learning or you can use intuitive, you can do both and you can add numerology, astrology, because it's all in there. It's all in there in, 
and it's about guiding you in your journey and but a lot of people use it for other things but i use it more for for guidance confirmation things like that and then if it's showing something on a path or something that might be coming up it gives me an opportunity to change it right because we don't always have to change and do what the tarot says you know a lot of people misunderstand the tarot of what it's for and what it represents right it's a guidance a tool right so from that perspective you know i learned as i said i learned intuitively and so i sat with it and so what i ended up doing is creating a tool to go along with the tarot and that is one of my books the tarot journal look at that isn't that so cute And so what I did is I made it into a journal for you. And like I put here like the, the page of cups and then a couple of descriptions to help get you started. And then also over here are some descriptions about the tarot, right? And then when you intuitively work with the tarot on that card, you just sit with it and you write down what it is that you receive, right? Because when I read the tarot, again, it's just intuitively. So what I receive about it is maybe totally different than what the book says, right? But I'm also channeling, tuning into guidance and what they're showing me that the card is going to represent. It's not always about what the card is. But with the symbolism in there, you know, I still incorporate that. You know, this is like a joyous occasion. Um, but I also get other things along with it. So it doesn't always mean what the card is. And so that's where a lot of people get confused in how I read. Um, mine is more based on intuitive reading instead of what the card actually means, right? Because if I'm getting something from um, the channeling, you know, this card means this is what I'm going to share. So. With that being said, you know, the book here, um, you can get this, it's on amazon.com. Um, I didn't make this, so I'm not um, marketing anybody else. This is my own product and you can purchase it. And it gives you every single card in the deck. And um, also in the back, it gives you some of the spreads that you can do. So like there's the three card pull and then there's the Celtic cross. So uh, yep, it's all there for you. Um, you can incorporate with the book that gives you the direct meanings. So you can combine them both in there or you can use it um, to develop the intuitive side. You know, you can do it in combination together or however you want to do it. But it's there for you as a journal, a tarot journal. Um, and it'll be on just uh, Google. I'll put the links below uh, if you wanted to order that. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. The people who have purchased it from the events that I do because I sell it there, I uh, really enjoy it and um, really like the, 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 the setup. So definitely check it out if you're interested. Now for today's general tarot reading. All right, let's go with the reading. So from last week, uh, we kind of were talking about, you know, like manifesting and things that are coming in. And so this week we're kind of getting the guidance, right? And so you're being guided and led to where you are meant to be uh, to receive what it is that you're wanting, right? And so follow the guidance because if we are trying to manifest something and we are not following the breadcrumbs that I like to, I call, I call it the breadcrumbs because the universe will show you the breadcrumbs. Uh, for instance, you know, if I hadn't followed and got up in the morning and gone to the place that was across the street from where my Bronco was, I would have never found the Bronco and I never would have got it right because if I had said no I'm not getting up and not listen to the inner guidance I would have kept sleeping and then I would have missed it and somebody else would have brought it right because it came at a time where my car decided to break down 
when you know the towards the end of the covid when we were having issues with trying to get vehicles in right and so it was very hard they said six months and my car was about to die and so i would have had to go a whole six months without a vehicle if that was the case but one had come in a person decided not to get it because of cost and so i because of their credit i guess it was it would have been way too expensive for them and so they had left it there after ordering it and then because they decided no the universe was like hey laura you know, your car's here go get it and so i went down and got it but i was delivered i was told to go to this other place the enterprise uh, car rental to purchase a car there which i evidently knew about because my the brother that i have um was and had brought a car from the enterprise the rental place and because i knew of it i understood to go to the enterprise and maybe they had a car there and i'm like okay let me go see if they have a car i don't really want to use car but if i need that in the meantime till i get a new car then that's fine so i went there but then i got there and then the car <laughs> i got in to go test drive it and things were just falling off the car and i was like nope <laughs> not gonna do this right so i had left the parking lot and then I heard look across the street and so across the street happened to be the Ford dealer and they had a Bronco right straight in the front of the building and it was exact color exact same thing that I wanted and so I was like yes so those are the breadcrumbs we have to follow the guidance and when we are manifesting or wanting something follow the guidance this is a chariot so you're being carried you're being shown you're being directed you know follow it because you're being guided and now this is of course can mean different things a lover's card uh agreements it could be divine meeting appointments agreements contracts um whatever that is uh, for you in your situation it doesn't always mean intimate relationships sexual or anything like that it just means there's a divine meeting and it had just happens to be depicted of a male or female so it could be maybe a boss it may be your father it may be a friend um doesn't mean always a relationship though it can mean the relationship so i and, and if i was to take this in my own personal situation it doesn't mean that for me it means that there's an, a divine agreement coming in that's i'm being guided to to help me move forward with what i'm wanting so i'm not really looking for the relationship i haven't put that up in the universe so that doesn't apply to me it may apply to you if that's what you put out there so i'm looking to manifest more um of growing my youtube channel um the business things like that and so that's how i'm gonna apply it right and we just need to follow the guidance right follow the lights follow the the, the light and the darkness the shadows right to get you out of the place that you are and he has the lights he's the higher consciousness the understanding the knowing the wisdom the universe or whatever you want to call it um source energy and so bringing that divine knowledge and wisdom in you know turn in listen meditate follow the guidance right and then as we go you know the person now whether this is representing source because it's the king king of cups which is and source is love so it's either a higher guidance love source uh maybe the person that's helping you to bring this into fruition right the king the master whoever it is that or the divine person that you're wanting to meet in the relationship is going to show up right and there's going to be um inspiration right this sword card is mental right the mental realm so new ideas inspirations um new ideas you know bring new stuff forward right and so from that you're going to have new understanding new information new thoughts you know things to work on move forward to and like in my creation like i said you know it may be just a new opportunity for the the direction that i'm going in what i'm creating however if we are going to cut ourselves off we're not going to have that right because this person is feeling like they're 
holding all the cards, that they're doing everything um, on their own, that there's no support, that they're all alone, that they're carrying all the weights, and that keeps them their head down, right? And it's a heavy load, right? And so carrying the burdens, not of just ourselves, but others, and trying to find the way through everything, right? And so this person's basically trying to carry the whole load, take it all on themselves, block themselves from seeing direction because he can't see where he's going with all that in front of him, right? So sometimes we just got to put it down <clears throat> and look at it from a different perspective, right? And so this is everything that you've accumulated. And so he's looking at it from here instead of here. So basically what this can mean that, you know, if we look at it from a different perspective, from the observer, not the doer or the viewer, uh, we can see it from a different perspective. Now the accumulation can be something of your past. What have you been through? What have you done? What have you experienced? Because now you can take a look at it once you step back from it and observe it and look at everything that's been created up to this point in this moment and then look at it from a different perspective. How can I utilize all this? Kind of like the whole saying, you know, you can make lemon lemonade from lemons or you can you know, leave them as lemons or whatever the saying is, right? So what it, it's what you do with it, right? And so we may have been through poverty, we may have been through abuse, we may have been through suffering, but if we look at it, it is um, a way that we can change and manifest it. We can turn it around and make better choices. We can take whatever we had experienced, the accumulated, um, what, and then maybe we can counsel or help people or coach them because you've been where they've been. You can use it as, you know, teaching abundance, teaching finances, um, whatever it is that you want to do, you can make it something of your own because what we've accumulated, we've gained the knowledge of, and then we can help and teach others, right? Part of the reason why we go through certain things that we go through is to help and bring forth knowledge that you have and you gained. Right? It's not always to be like, woe is me um, in the suffering, and I've been through this, and this is me, and this I can't change my life. It's not about that, right? It's about what we can do with our experiences, right? What we've gained through life, and whether that is positive or negative, right? It doesn't always have to be, you know, the abuse. It could be that you've had great financial success, and you want to take it and share it with others, right? And so be the master of your experiences, right? And so then from that, when you can do that, stepping out of your, of your experiences and look at from the other side of it, you can then, um, this is like a rebirthing, right? So you're no longer the one who suffered or had the issues or anything like that because you're now able to see it from a different perspective. You're seeing it from an outside view versus the one on the inside view of the situation, if that makes sense. But you get um, a lot of rebirthing, a lot of joy, newness, um, you know, because this represents a new day, a new experience, you know, rebirthing, right? Happiness and joy. Uh, this can also represent a baby coming on the way. It can re represent, you know, a lot of different things as far as rebirthing, you know. Maybe you're having an awakening. Maybe you're having uh, a child. Maybe you're having a new a new job or career and it's coming into fruition so it really meant you know represents different things but you really have to let go of the old stuff and not kind of keep it with you so you can move forward if we keep hanging around um, and keeping that attachment to it then it's going to be hard to change and, and move her through it now this for me when i'm looking at this card this is like equal higher consciousness you have all the support that you need um, and the balance, and it's for me, it's showing a bridge. Although it's the, it's the high priestess card, it also represents other things, um, you know, like the balance, you know, the higher knowledge, the higher wisdom. Uh, you have that, right, is what it's showing, but it also represents the bridge for me in this general reading. So the bridge means support, right? So you have the knowledge and wisdom, so you don't have to worry about it, right? And so you have the ability to move forward. So you just have to trust. And so sometimes you might need to add some education, 
right? What is it that I am going to need to learn in order to do this? Maybe if you are looking for, you know, a house, you might need to educate yourself. If you're looking for a new vehicle, you might want to do some research. If you're looking for a new career, you're going to definitely want to take some new classes. You know, and so it really is going to be based in depending on your situation, right? So there's some education um, involved in this change in transaction, transition. And so it's going to have some effort. So you're going to need to put some effort into it. You know, and nothing goes without efforts, unfortunately. Um, here in this realm, <laughs> this time frame, existence, it's not like the other side where time doesn't exist and things are instantly manifesting in the present moment and current and although it does the moment you speak of it it just takes a while for it to get here so if you're wanting a new job or a career or house whatever it is that you're trying to manifest it, it, there's a time lag and so it's going to take some effort and some you know just staying steadfast you know focused on it right so it, it comes and with that the end result is going to be your celebration card happiness joy bliss you can celebrate and be in your bliss state, right? And so be happy. But it's all on the way, and it's just a little bit of a journey. Um, and so it kind of just concludes, you know, what the last two weeks uh, are coming. But we're coming more into uh, having that up here, uh, which is going to help you shift. Um, it's all there for you. The universe is lining everything up for you. You just have to trust in it. And, you know, just Keep following along now if we are in resistance you know to uh, what we're trying to create you know um, or if we're hanging on to that we're just going to delay it more and more and more right so when you um, are in the resistance of things not following your uh, breadcrumbs you're in resistance to it and it's going to delay the process so try not to do that <laughs> you know anytime you see that your thoughts or your mind goes to you know, maybe a negative thought or something that you don't want, you know, change it, focus somewhere else, think of something else really fast, <laughs> you know, stop dwelling in the stuff that you don't want, right, because things are on your way, and so you don't want to delay it anymore or any further, right, and so even for like me, everything that I'm doing has been a progression, everything is progression because it is evolution, everything's an evolution in motion, right, uh, from the moment we're born, you know, to the time we, that we pass over, uh, from the moment the very first time existed and started to exist, you know, and forever, right? So we are always continuously progression and constantly evol evol in evolution of itself. The soul, you know, comes in, takes up the body, has experience, and goes and passes over. We shed the body and then we take up a new one, right? Whatever that's going to be from that point of view. So it's always a progression. It's always an evolution of anything and everything. Because what you know yesterday is not what you know today. You know more than what you used to know, right? And so the experience brings that to you. And that's why it's a progression of evolution, right? Everything evolves. We evolve on so many different levels. We're just not aware because we can't see it. But when we are showing up in the next moment, we become aware of it, right? And so we might be like, oh, you know, and then have a new awareness, right? But everything is always evolving and progressing as we uh, are moving on. So, but that's basically today's reading. And then again, if you are interested in utilizing the, the tarot journal with your, you know, learning the journal, uh, of course, for beginners, um, definitely reach out. I'm going to drop the links in, in the description below. It's on amazon.com and I hope you enjoy it. It's a cute little, cute little book. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Happy journeys.